What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, B-Hot Radio, shout in. As always, I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Against the Wicked, a.k.a. Big Galaxy. Galaxy Wick. But, you know something? <laughs> this, um, yeah. we got, I, I, ha- I have to admit, that I have to uh, to announce this. This is a public service announcement. Oh, well, come on with on it. On August the 5th, uh-huh. I'm going to be live in concert. Okay, then. At the A-Town Music Festival. That's going to be crazy as hell. Absolutely. Shout out to T.I. Yeah. Uh, who all yep. of the crime Crime mob, mob, Young Blood, Troy, Troy. Young Blood. We riding out in 85, all that. Come on, and, now. And I have told people that we are going to make your debut for your new single. Okay, so, uh, straight from the deck because no, I'm gonna be no, performing. No, 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 no. You're not from the deck. <laughs> you're from. Well, that you're day, from Maze. Age, you're from Maze <laughs> High School. Maze <laughs> High School is not on the east side. It's not. It's Decatur. on the west side. But guess what? At the A Time Music Fest. You know what? What? Straight <laughs> from, from the Maze. deck. No, I'm thinking straight from the deck. First and uh, second verse. Forgive me, Nino, but I'm rapping your verse too, goddammit. Well, we on eight time music fest, August fifth, man. Y'all get y'all tickets, man. Behind, we, we gonna be in the building. Nino, it's gonna, it's gonna, Nino gonna be there too. Oh, nigga, you know, please, Nino. You know what I'm we coming deep, big D, Rodney, man. I told y'all, man, oh, we gonna man. do it big, all us, man. You know what I'm saying? East side, west side, we gonna hook up. August fifth, eight time music fest. Let's go. I mean, in the building with us, though, man, you know, we having another legendary conversation with a Memphis 10 legend stepping off in this thing. Hey, yes, he goes by the name of Tom Ski, man. What's good with what it, What it boss? do, what it do. Hey, I might uh, crash our party August 5th. You man. might. Hey, hey, that's, what I'm, crazy. that's what I'm saying. I just might pop up. That's what I'm saying. Me and my big brother, Kurtz, we might just pop up. Ew. Take his place. I got, matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all some bands. I'm, I'm going to give y'all his band. Okay. Don't y'all listen come in. to him, Tom. Don't even listen to him, because he we, ain't right. We're going to walk right past and we're going some real OG players. You feel me? Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's a, <laughs> uh, uh, we, wicked. Wicked. No, we ain't doing that, Baka. Tom, uh, man, what the hell's going on, Baka? Man, same shit, different toilet. I mean, you know how we do it here. We got to take it from the top, man. When it comes to this music, First of all, legendary camps with legendary producers, DJ Squeak and everybody around there, man. I mean, how the hell did you get down with the team? And where did your passion from the music begin? Passion for the music come from my mother, my father, and my grandmother. Mm -hmm. My mother sang with Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, yeah. My father was a crooner on the streets, and my grandmother sang in church. Mm. And my grandfather served in uh, in Vietnam with Frankie Beverly, so, you know. That's crazy. It, it's just a whole pot of gumbo, and then everybody in my family in Newport, Rhode Island, just do music. Yeah. So then in Memphis, though, man, that hip hop scene early on, man. I mean, what was it like trying to break into that thing? Man, we broke it. Come on, we broke it. We created a sound back then that runs now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it gets sampled twenty four damn seven, man. I mean, so how does that make you feel when you hear these new artists reaching back and saying, let me get some of that Tom Ski and run with it right Man, quick. pretty good, because I just got a check from somebody over in Russia. Ooh. Mm. Big bands. Come on now. Big bands. Oh. So, you know, it, it feels good, man, because you got to think about when we started it, all the DJs back home was like, man, this ain't going to work. Mm. I was like, how is it not going to work? Like, Y'all the DJs, just play it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man, you know, uh, no. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. We kept pushing. Yeah. Kept pushing. Kept pushing. Now we're in 2023, and guess what? Everything we did back then, they listening to now. Exactly. Mm. Linking up with Squeaky, man. How did y'all link up? Me and Squeaky linked up in high school. Mm. And... From there, it's just, it was history. Mm-hmm. I met Ball and G, the Project Players, mm-hmm. Lil Stick Up, Insane, Killer Murphy, Lil Grove, all of us. Zerk, Kilo G, yeah. Buckshot. Man, mm-hmm. he rest in peace. He just passed away. Damn. Um, Al Capone. Yeah. All of us. Like, we was all one big family. People don't realize that. Mm-hmm. We was all one big family. Al Capone, the Taylor Boys, Young Low, Squeaky, mm-hmm. Homicide, all of us was like one big family. Yeah. And then, you know, everybody grew up and mm-hmm. dispersed. Yeah. Everybody went their own ways. Did you know that uh, that y'all were, that when y'all were, you know, 
that big family back then and dropping these records and, you know, saying got the city on fire that, to, you know, 30 years later that, you know, you'll still be relevant, that people still be sampling the records. The, uh, the city still, you know, fuck with y'all. Did you, did you know that you would be the legend that you is down there in Memphis right now? I didn't. Man, we was doing music for fun. We was just having fun. Yeah. We would go in there and record. Whatever we come up with, that's what it was. Mm. Like my first mixtape came out in 1995. Right. Somebody just sampled some of my mixtape. That's what I'm talking about. That's where I got the bag from just recently. Right. Yeah. I'm like, y'all know this This was 95, right? Mm-hmm. My lawyer called me, hey, man, uh, I got something for you. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, let go. Yeah. Then the crazy part about it is people don't realize that song Drake and 21 Savage got, mm -hmm. they sampled the sample from me. Wow. That privileged people or whatever yeah. they're privileged, whatever they're privileged. Privileged yeah, privileged rappers. Yeah. That sample, that came off my mixtape. <laughs> So how you talk? How you talk to Drake about it? Like what's happening? I mean, uh, twenty one about it. Like what's happening? I don't. I can't get in touch with nobody. You can get in touch with that. You, you get in touch with that courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> but see, they it's can. a sample of a sample, so I don't know how we how we would clear. Gotcha. Okay. Because yeah. okay. we sam we sampled it. Yeah. And they didn't do nothing but sample the same. They sampled mine. Oh, gotcha. And slowed it down just a little bit more. Gotcha. I mean, gotcha. it's cool. Yeah. I, I, me, I'm appreciative. Yeah. Right, right, right. Man, right. my Instagram went to jumping. Man, you know Drake sampled you? Drake? I'm like, what? <laughs> they sent me the song. I'm listening. I'm like, yeah, nigga. I'm back. <laughs> like, Big Ski back. Like, come on, let's yeah. go. Right. Man. Now it's just like, I'm I'm digging now. Who sampled this? Yeah. Who doing this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I need this. Right. <laughs> Come on, I need that. I need to sample one of your records to do a diss record against him. You See think that? maybe it's what you See can that? send me over that, a few? That ain't, that ain't gonna be worth it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank thank you, you, thank you, you, thank 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 you, Back to 95, niggas Come watching their back, man. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That bangle right there, man. Come up with that funk. How did that one come about? Man, just in the studio, like, okay, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some songs. We're gonna do some songs. We're gonna do some songs. They're like, what? Well, what we gonna call it? Somebody said something. I said, nigga, watch your back. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make changes. I was like, all right, we're gonna run with it. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's how it came about. That's how a lot of good uh, records. That, that's why I like to be in the studio. People ask all the time, like, why rappers like to have a lot of people in the studio with them. It's because of stuff like that. You never yep. know what one person will say in the background, and you hear that and be like, "That's it right there." Yeah, that's it. you see that's what I'm saying? It. All the all y'all weed, y'all smoked them all my weed, drop my liquor, <laughs> but it was worth it just for you to give me that one title right <laughs> yeah. there.